Hello everyone, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're in the shop here today. I've had a lot of requests on rocket stoves and how you build them, so what I thought I'd do is just take this time to maybe do a, a short video on how I build my rocket stoves. To start off with, I go to Walmart and I buy me a, or it doesn't have to be Walmart, I buy a 12, for, a 12 quart stainless steel pot for the 4 inch rocket stove, because that's what we're going to be building here. I buy that. And then I'll go by the hardware store, buy a regular old heater pot, 24 gauge heater pot, comes in a two foot stick. Problem here is you can't buy a four inch T and that's what we need to go inside that pot that's not galvanized. I do not build mine out of galvanized but simply because when you burn the fire in it, galvanized gets hot and gives off toxic fumes and I don't want that going up around my food. Uh, making it toxic and plus this pipe is 24 gauge if you buy the uh, galvanized tees that they do sell they're 29 or 30 gauge and once you burn fires in them a little while they burn out anyway so what I do is I take one of these pieces of pipe and I squeeze it together till it comes to a four inch circumference and I cut the side off of it now that's what I've got right here this is a piece of that pipe that I cut the side off of. It was up here. Well, let's turn it around. It was up like this right here. So I cut the side off of that. And then I cut it to length. I cut it, I cut it two and a half inches taller than my pot from the bottom in there. And when I roll this pipe together, I use zip ties. I slide the zip tie over that pipe and I, I keep pulling it in with that zip tie until I get a four inch circumference. And once I get that, then I drill it an inch from one end. I drill an eighth inch pop rivet and put a steel pop rivet, not an aluminum one because it will melt and come out. And on the other end I measure two and a half inches up and I put me a pop rivet there. And then I pop rivet the other two equally spaced out. When I get through, then I slide these off because it will hold itself after that point. And I take these and hang them back up here in the shop. For my next rocket stove. And once I've done that, you'll notice you look at the bottom of this. I measure up an inch and a half and I draw me a line around the bottom of this pipe. And then I take my, you want to use the yellow, yellow handle snips because that's your straight cutters. And you reach in every inch and you cut that up to that mark. Once you get that done, you take them one at a time and you bend them over. Now I've found that a pair of vice grips works best because they have a the, the back side of them is arched like that and you can set that vice grip down to that line that you drawed and you can bend that thing over and set this piece of pipe down take a hammer and you can tap them You want to do this till you get them all the way around. What we're doing here is we're going to be building a four inch T out of this black iron because it doesn't give off any kind of toxic fumes and it is out of a, hot, a lot heavier gauge and your rocket stove will last a lot longer. Now that you see the bottom of this the way it looks what this is for we're going to have a, another pipe coming out of the side of this in just a minute like this. This is going to be to sit right here that part is made to sit in the bottom of that rocket stove to create a base in the bottom of that stove out of. And in just a little while, like I said, we're going to put the other part of the T out here. And we're going to be cutting a hole here in the side of this pot for that T to come out of to start building our rocket stove. Okay, we've got our T made here. This is what it looks like. A homemade T. What we did, I'll let you I'll show you, I'll kind of do on the back side of this. I took a four inch can and set it against my pipe and marked a circle all the way around it. And I took my snips, my right hand snips, the red handle ones, 
and I cut the circle out on this side of the pipe here. Then I took another piece of the pipe and made me another four inch pipe. Stuck it through the pipe, marked it, took it out, cut it, and feathered it out all the way around it. Pop riveted it, and I used high heat silicone like you put on fireplaces to seal it all the way around it. And once I got that done, I set it to the side. I took my pot, I measured up two and one eighth inches from the bottom, which is what the distance is from here to the bottom of this to here. I took my can again, I marked my hole in the pot, drilled a 3 8 inch hole in the stainless steel pot, took my right hand snips, run around and cut it. One thing about cutting stainless steel you want to know is you want to wear glasses because stainless steel, little pieces of it fleck off real bad and could get in your eyes, so wear your goggles when you're doing that. The next step is to take your tea, which should be you want your distance from the back of the tee to the front to be the same as it is from here to here, but you want it to be a little tight so it, about getting it in, and you want to push it down in the push it down in the pot till you get to right there. You want to be able to slide this through until this part right here is in the center of your lid, and when we get to that. Uh, get to the point where we go to cut a hole in the lid. I'll show you that phase. We're there, and that's what it should look like on the inside of your pot. With this sitting in here like that. The next thing we'll do is we'll be taking this lid right here. We're going to be cutting a circle in the center of the top of it, and it will be fitting over the top of this. And we'll have our straps mounted on it. And then we'll use this high heat silicone stuff to seal around all of our cracks and everything when we get through with it. So that um, the filler that we're going to put inside this won't come out of it. When we get to the next phase of cutting the lid, we'll get back with you. Okay, we're back. We've got the rocket stove completely put together. We, got the, uh, we went ahead and siliconed the high heat silicone around the, uh, the barrel sticking out here prevent any filler from coming out around it. We went ahead and made a little piece out of a scrap piece of metal. Go back in here so that the air can pass underneath it here and keep the fire burning. We've got the lid done now. We put our little straps on the lid. We put three of them on. On each side of them, we taken and um, took the U-bolts, put them in the vise and bent them to create a flat surface up here for your pot to sit on while your stove is burning. You want at least, let me if I can get it up where you can see it, you want at least a half to three quarters of an inch underneath your pot so that the, the flame hits the bottom of the pot really, really good. So we got that. We fill it up. You take the lid off of it, you fill it up with sand or some people use ashes, different things. And then we're going to seal around the top of the lid here and it'll be good to go. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video on rocket stoves. This is a four inch one. Um, perfectly fine for cooking on. If you're going to do canning or anything like that, I'd go with the six inch uh, style. But if you like what you've seen, we'd appreciate it if you'd share it, like, and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you good videos. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.